Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, it's me Wayne again. Like and subscribe and ring that little bell for notifications. I hope you enjoy and thank you for watching. Hello everybody, it's me Wayne again. It's Friday, October 29th, 2021. And before we get started, remember if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me and the future of this channel. Also, ring that little bell for notifications so you'll be notified when I produce something new. And leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from my community. If anything, just say hi. I like it when people say hi. Well, like I said, it's Friday. It's a very cold Friday. I didn't wear a thick enough jacket. Yeah, I did not wear a thick enough jacket today. My girlfriend's cold nature, and I'll see how she handles it with just a sweatshirt. I got a sweatshirt on and a jacket, and the jacket's not thick enough. This is just my usual end of the week, coming weekend update. Let everybody know what's going on in my life, what's going on with me and everything. I mean, everything's going good. My job's doing pretty good. Me and my girlfriend are going great. And we have our moments, but that happens. Other than that, everything's, you know, everything's pretty good. This weekend, they, did, they didn't even, they were saying that we know when you're going to be open this weekend, so I didn't have to even think about worrying about working apparently. You know, I got to get an oil filter, change the oil in this thing. I've already got the oil. Thanks to my girlfriend. Thank you. But it is cold. It's like 50 degrees. So I'm playing about the heat and all of a sudden, boom, it's cold. It went from it went from 90 to 50 like you just saw a state trooper. <laughs> but everything's going good. Being a widower, being a widower isn't easy. It's not for the faint of heart, but we don't get a choice in that matter. It's throw you for a loop. I'm over five years out now. I still have my moments. Nowhere near like I did four years ago. I'm just wondering how come it didn't affect me like it has other people. Like the one guy I know whose wife recently died. He's a mess. He's only married for six years. I was married for 21 years. I mean, I, yeah, I had six months to prepare. You know, hoping for the best, but planning for the worst. But it still hit me. It still bothered me. I had my moments. So all of a sudden I was married, next thing I know I was single. Widowed. Went from two incomes to one income, which that really hurt. Had to let her car go back. 2014 Mustang GT, we had it. We got it, it was about a year old. It was about two years old when I got rid of it, or when I let the bank take it back. They didn't repossess it, I surrendered it. They counted as a repossession, but it happens. Some things you have to change. When your spouse dies, there's things that change. Especially when you go from two incomes to one income and you still technically need the two incomes for certain things. And that really makes it hard. Because my job didn't pay all that well. Of course, hers didn't either, but together we were decent. It will mess with you. Because all of a sudden you got bills you can't afford. All of a sudden you got stuff you don't need or sometimes want. I spent eight months before I finally decided to go through all her stuff. She was a semi hoarder. I fought her on it for 21 years. I had two, two and a half rooms to go through, plus several shelves and closets because she never got rid of any clothes. When she lost weight, I told her, you need to get rid of those clothes. Oh, I don't know, I'll get, I'll get around to it. I ended up going through them all.
All I, all I got left is a few knickknacks and some stuff in a few boxes. That's it. I've replaced some furniture. Replaced that king size bed she wanted. Finally got a queen size. It's the first bed I ever picked out for myself, which is weird. Here I am. I was 49 at the time. First bed I ever picked out for myself. I think I did a decent job. It's just a plain Jane queen size bed, nothing real fancy. I mean, it's memory foam, but I think it's memory foam. It's foam, some form or another. Yeah. Your life changes. Certain things you used to do, you don't feel like doing anymore. Certain places you used to go, you don't go to anymore. Actually, for me, there's just a couple of restaurants I haven't been to in a long time because of her, because of Terry. Other than that, there's not really anything I don't really do different. I still like going bowling, haven't done that in a while, but I've done it several times since she died. I started riding a bicycle for the first time since the 80s. I was surprised I could still do it. But your life does change. Some people are idiots driving. But anyway, your life does change. Like I said, I really don't know of anything I used to do before her that I don't do now. I pretty much do everything. I still do a lot of the same stuff I've always done. Gaming. Well, I'd like to do tabletop, but I can't find a tabletop that I take. I'm really not into that Roll20 thing, because that's just, to me, it wouldn't be the same. I've looked at it, and it's confused the heck out of me. The Discord servers confused the heck out of me. I really don't know if I want to try those or not. Because I like having some visuals, which you can with some of the online stuff. But like I said, I haven't yet to figure out how to do that stuff. But it is a life-changing, life-altering thing. It'll also change your perspective on things. One thing I learned, life's too short. Have fun. Yes, you have to work, but I ain't gonna kill myself for stuff that I'll never get to enjoy because I killed myself trying to get it. At one time, that was the thing for men get stuff for their wives and children to to enjoy and they never got to mess with it because they were always working that thing ain't that way anymore some people still feel that way I'm like dude are you ever gonna get to enjoy it oh yeah one of these days yeah what after you die life is too short so have fun while you're alive Go on that trip if you have the money. Buy that car if you have the money. That's my problem. I don't have the money. But yeah, it changes everything. Death of a spouse greatly changes everything. It changes a lot of people's perspectives. I've known people that when their spouse died, they buried themselves in their work and they worked their tail off. You know, 60, 70, 80, 100 hours a week. I'm thinking, why? All you're gonna do is just all you're gonna do is work yourself into a grave. That I never got. If I'm gonna have it, I want to enjoy it while I'm alive and can still enjoy it. But that's me. But like I said, life's too short. Well, everybody, I think I've rambled on enough today. Remember, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. Otherwise, please subscribe to my channel. It would mean a lot to me and the future of this channel and all the hard work I put into it and YouTube's algorithm. It would help YouTube's algorithm a lot. Also, ring that little bell for notifications to be notified when I produce something new. And leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from my community. If anything, just say hi. I like it when people say hi. 
Well, it's me, Wayne, again. Y'all have a great day and a better tomorrow, and y'all have a great weekend. I'll catch y'all later. I'm out.